What's up guys, we are back once again, and we are finally going to be doing, hopefully more soon, of One Piece movies. So we're going to be talking about One Piece, the film, Gold. So I know, I think this was probably not the latest of the uh, One Piece movies. Again, I'm trying to catch up on most of the One Piece movies. So if you guys have seen this, what was your thoughts on it? I personally would like to know. Me personally, first off, from a first impression, I did enjoy this film. Uh, from the story aside, the animation was absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think that that is uh, probably maybe the recent animation that they've used for One Piece. I could be wrong. I know the animation has just grown exponentially. So hopefully that it has gotten a lot better maybe before or after this movie. Because again, this did come out in 16. We're in 2023 now. So hopefully this is going to be uh, just like I said, the starting of going over more One Piece movies. Now, again... The whole story of this is again, you got the straw hats. They're going to some type of uh, casino like ship that's being ran by this one ruler by the name of uh, Guild uh, Tesoro. So, again, you got the Grand Tesoro casino and when the straw hats arrive they're pretty much treated like royalty like celebrities vips they're shown about how this city works it's very 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 vibrant it's, it's pretty much like if you mix i would say las vegas with every single other massive city on one ship and that's pretty much what it is and they start gambling a lot and again we all know how nami is she starts getting more and more greedy and the straw hats start getting a lot of money and then as soon as one of their escorts says hey let's go over here and you can win more money and when they do and then when they lose a bet to one of the one to the main ruler that's when he starts going to collect to where hey now I want you to collect this and I want money and if they don't pay he has control he controls them because what he has what's called the gold gold fruit now he's able to turn anything he wants into gold he's able to use gold at his will and the one that works for him uh Bar Barricart, she actually has what's called the luck luck fruit now again she can take a luck or give it away or take away out of whim and unfortunately, when they all try to attack, she uses the unluck on Sanji and Zoro, and even, not Sanji and Zoro, but Luffy and Sanji. And then when Zoro tries to attack, uh, of course, uh, Tere uh, Tereso, it does not go the way that he plans, and he does get captured. And one of the ones that is uh, in his crew or is underneath his control, Nami knows her from a uh, previous job. There's some uh, history between them two. We see where she tries to tell Nami, like, hey, look, um, because of uh, uh, Serena, she tries to say, hey, you know, I'm here. I'm here to help. And unfortunately, we see where her and Nami have a long past due to the point of she left her one time at a job, could have gotten her killed, but then she did return to help her. And Nami and her have been kind of rivals ever since. And she has no choice but to help use her to help free Zoro. So they come up with this massive spy-like type of uh, grand plan to try to release Zoro and try to uh, fight against this tyranny. Now again, the one with this ruler, he does this to everybody that comes in there with greed and also they lose. They have to work off their debt somehow, some way. And if they don't, they're going to die one way or another because as soon as you enter the city, you have gold sparkling on you and that's how he's able to control you if you do lose. Now, what happens throughout the entirety of the movie is Luffy and Mon the crew see how this, how bad the city is. It's, it's pretty much like, I'm trying, I'm trying to think of another uh, one, pr probably between what happened with um, uh, Arlong, Arlong's arc, and then even in uh, uh, the Del Flamingo arc, and then among others. So it's your normal tyranny, king villain that is uh, using the people for his own benefit, and same time using his minions to enforce it. So we see everyone 
fight along together. And again, this was some cool moments, man. Uh, this is probably right after, from what it looked like, was that right after the Dolph Flamingo arc. So I've already passed that arc. So I already knew what was going on and how Luffy had gear four and also how the crew looked and everything of that nature. So I enjoyed this film. There was a lot of action. There was a lot of adventure. We saw some uh, former faces show up. We saw uh, Rob Lucci return. We saw uh, Sp Spanan return. We saw uh, Ekinu return. We also had some new faces show up as well. Uh, like I said, the animation was absolutely amazing we even saw Sabo return as well uh with the fire fire fruit so again i like i said i enjoyed this movie there was a lot of great moments to where it made you wonder like okay how how's the crew gonna get out of this situation um some of the fights was pretty cool as well i would say the main fight between luffy and Teresa was pretty cool um same thing with uh some of the other moments in here and it kind of makes you wonder like what was going to happen between the crew and how they're going to fight them off and it was just that real intense uh moment so i will say for anyone that got to see this movie probably when it was in theaters you know my hat's off to you because i'm pretty sure you enjoyed it uh, like i said i got into one piece one piece very very late but now i'm trying to make up for it so like i said great movie overall i really did enjoy it um the animation was absolutely incredible the character just growth in this has just been exponential so same thing with the way they had the costumes. All the characters looked absolutely amazing. Um, that's really all I can say about it. But overall, guys, what was your overall opinion of One Piece Gold? Did you guys enjoy it? Was it good? Was it bad? Either way, what was your thoughts about it? Let me know down in the comments down below if you guys are new to the channel. Honestly, about subscribing. Leave a big fat like on the video if you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you as always on the next one.